To install your shower bench, you will need a power drill, level, two inch construction screws, hand saw, utility knife, and caulk gun. Before installing the shower bench, make sure all surfaces of the shower are clean, dry, and dust free. Cover the shower floor with cardboard to help protect it from damage. Installation of the shower bench should be done after the shower walls have been installed. To help keep the bench secure, you will need to add a few screws to better anchor the existing wall panel and backer board to the wall. On the two studs closest to the back wall, use a marker to mark a point measuring 10 inches and 15 inches up from the shower floor. Generally, the studs are 16 inches apart. Use a stud finder to determine the exact location of the stud. Dry fit the foam block and make sure the markings will be covered up by the bench. Drill a small pilot hole at these points before using a 2-inch construction screw to anchor the panel and backer board to the stud. Orient the seat in the location where it will be installed and dry fit the foam block to the shower floor. Using a saw or knife, cut the foam block to contour any unique features in the shower floor so that the foam block rests on the floor. Note that due to the slope of the shower floor, all of the block may not be in contact with the floor. Make sure the shower bench is close to level. You will want the bench to slope slightly to allow water to shed off the seat. Apply Performance Pro Adhesive to the two parts of the foam block that touch the shower walls. The adhesive should be applied in dollops about the size of a Hershey's Kiss every three inches. Press the block into place, first by pressing the foam against the wall, then by pushing the block down into the corner as tight as it will go. Wipe off any excess adhesive. Next, place shims along the front edge of the foam block. Shims should be placed every 6 inches starting with the outside corner of the block. Shims may need to be stacked 2 to 3 high depending on the slope angle of the floor. Make sure the shims fit tight, but do not insert them with too much force as this will cause the foam block to slide up along the wall. Mark any part the shim that is sticking out from the foam, remove the shim, and cut and snap off the excess. Repeat this step for all of the shims. After the shims have been cut, place a small amount of adhesive on the top and bottom of the shim, then place each of the shims back into place. The shims should sit flush with the front of the block. Dry fit the wraparound panel to the block. Press the panel tight against the walls, which may cause a gap between the panel and the shower floor. Scribe and cut along the bottom of the panel so the panel contours the shower floor. Next, cut along the scribed line on the wraparound panel. Fit, scribe, and cut multiple times if needed to ensure the panel fits. Dry fit the panel again. If there is a gap between the side of the block and the wraparound panel, scribe and cut the panel until the gap is removed. Dry fit the panel again. There may be a gap between the top edge of the panel and the front of the foam block. If this gap is larger than a quarter inch, scribe and cut along the shower floor until the gap is a quarter inch or smaller. Check the wraparound panel and using your fingers, feel for a gap between the panel and the slanted portion of the foam block. If there is a gap, scribe and cut along the edge of the panel that touches the side wall to remove the gap. Once the wraparound panel fits tightly, 
apply adhesive to both inside surfaces of the panel. Press the panel tightly into place on the foam block. Next, dry fit the top cap onto the bench. Check under the side edge of the top panel for any gap between the panel and the block. Scribe and cut the opposite side of the panel to remove the gap. Next, take the top cap, turn it upside down, and mark from the inner lip of the panel to your measured distance. Repeat this process for a few locations on the bench. With each marking, make sure the marking location corresponds with the correct location, such as the front of the seat or the back. Next, draw a line between all the marks and cut off the excess panel. Remove all masking, both from the top cap and the bottom wraparound panel. Before gluing on the top cap, apply a bead of adhesive between the top of the block and the shower walls. Apply a second bead about half inch from the shower wall. These ensure a second water barrier for the bench behind silicone. If there is a gap between the top of the wraparound panel and the front of the foam block, fill the gap with adhesive. Apply adhesive to the underside of the top cap. Include a bead of adhesive along the inside of the front and side lips of the top cap. Follow this up with dots of adhesive on the underside of the top panel. Press the panel into place. Firmly press or tap on all parts of each panel to ensure a tight bond to the foam. Finally, Clean off any excess adhesive from all the joints. Make sure all joints are clean before moving on to the next step of applying silicone. Wait at least two hours to allow the adhesive enough time to start curing. Then, using the Performance Pro 100% silicone, caulk all the joints. This includes along the bottom of the bench where the bench meets the shower base as well as under the lip of the top cap. Wait at least 24 hours for the adhesive and silicone to completely cure before applying weight to the shower bench or using the shower.